<laughs> I'm gonna call this video I got you brother I got you bro and uh, of course you know this is Elder Apostle Ricard and he's talking about them bugged out wicked ass niggas in the church and he mentions the movie The Blues Brothers which I believe came out in 1980 and I remember that movie well and he mentions about the church <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't contain it. He mentions about the church scene in the movie, uh, The Blues Brothers. <laughs> so I said, let me go and see if I could find that scene. And lo and behold, I found it. So I'm going to play the part where Elder Apostle Ricard mimics those church, those church nigger motherfuckers. Excuse my, I'm going to get real explicit in this video. So excuse my Italian. <laughs> Those wicked nigger motherfuckers and their church madness. All right, this is what happens when you worship Caesar Boger slash Serapis Christus. Okay, this is what happens. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, Apostle Rakab, myself, and the officer uh, Sha'ar. So we're back here again with another video. Okay. This title of the video is blunt and to the point. You wicked, I, how did I put it? You nigga, you wicked, you nigga Christians, or you wicked nigga Christians. I forgot how I put it up there. Something, that was it. something to that degree. <laughs> okay? You wicked, evil, so-called Baptist church, Methodist church. You, you know, you nigga church, you niggas, and then nigga churches. You niggas are wicked as hell, man. Oh, yeah. And lately... Uh, we've been having a lot of run-ins with you wicked Christian niggas. And that, that old black Christianity shit is played out. That shit has not profit with you niggas, man. You niggas been getting lynched for hundreds of years. Talking about you Christians and Jesus and Jesus, Jesus <laughs> on the cross. All you niggas, when you go to church on Sunday, it ain't nothing but a club, man. The women coming in with the tight That is so true. That is so true. That's why every time they make a, a, a comedy flick with niggas in it, you know niggas, every time they make a comedy flick with niggas in it, there's always a church scene, man. Why? Because it's the biggest fucking joke, man. The goddamn so-called black church. The biggest joke on the planet Earth, man. And we don't like you niggas, man. We do not like you, okay? Just so you know. This is on sluts and whores. Y'all get up in the church and you got a goddamn a band up there, the drums and the guitar, and y'all singing and you got the choir. That shit is satanic. That's oh, like yeah. a horror movie, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> you got the old, old ass women, old ass women up in there falling out and foaming and talking, you talking in tongues. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And they always got that funky wave, you know? Big ham hock looking arms and shit waving back. What the fuck are you waving for? That's why the Lord say he's going to visit. He, by the way, just so you know, the Lord called your so-called church a harlot house. That's what he calls it in Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. And he said, you monkeys gather in there like, like, like troops. Let me see if I can find it. All your churches are going to get visited, man. You best believe it, man. Okay? You're carrying on that bullshit that you learned from the so-called white man. That's who you learn that shit from, that old plantation shit. Jeremiah, the fifth chapter. Let me see. Bear with me for a minute. Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, the seventh verse. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me. There you go. And sworn by the, who's the Lord's children? The Israelites. And that's who you are. And the, and the majority of you don't want to accept that. But anything the so-called white man tell you, you'll accept that shit. You're the, you know what, you niggas, you're the best slave the so-called white man ever had, man. That's a fact, man. You are the best fucking slave the so-called white man ever had. You niggas. You fat bottom lip niggas, okay? How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. Yeah, like Serapis Christus. That's where... In case you didn't know, you fat bottom lip blockhead nigger. In case you didn't know, so-called white man Jesus goes back to Serapis Christus. Do your research. 
Okay, it goes back to Serapis Christus. That's where it goes back to. That's the origin of it. So it says, you have sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, then they committed adultery. And you, oof, you niggas love committing adultery. You got Israelites pushing adultery. Another fat bottom lip moron who calls himself some general. Never been on an army, couldn't spell the word army, talking about he a general. Yeah, generally the most high going to destroy you, nigga, if you don't repent, you fucking clown. Pushing drugs and adultery. All you niggas, man, that talk shit about this truth by teaching false doctrines, your day is coming, man. First Peter 4 and 17, judgment is coming upon you, man. And we've been warning you for the longest. When I had fed them to the full, then they had committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the hollered houses. What the hell do you think that's talking about? That's talking about these so-called black churches, man. That's what it's talking about. Jeremiah, mark that scripture down. Jeremiah 5 and 7. All right? Let's get back to the video. Falling out and falling to call you talking in tongues. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You niggas got demons on you, man. A fucking comedy show. And you're going to see that in the movie. You are going to see that, that same thing the brother's talking about. You're going to see that shit in the movie. And that movie was made way back in 1980 called The Blues Brothers. Okay. And then the preacher don't even bring out no scriptures. He up there, well, yeah, you know man. what? A perfect example of a whole movie from the 80s, The Blues Brothers. The Blues Brothers. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. Uh, nah. You gotta see that. That, 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 that. That's from like the early 80s. That guy, you know, John Belushi and uh, Dan Aykroyd, The Blues Brothers. And James Brown, the scene when they went to the church, that, that's a classic, that's a, that's a iconic, Absolutely. classic movie. You know, it's, a, it's a funny ass movie. Yep. The, the Blues Brothers. That movie came out when I was a little kid. But it was a good time. It's an iconic movie. Yep. The, the scene, we're on a mission from God. Yep. The Blues Brothers was on a mission from God. So uh, <laughs> they went to church. There was one scene. Uh, and and that, that movie was an all star cast yep. from back in the days. I mean, anybody who was anybody was. Aretha Franklin was in the movie. Yep. Ray Charles was in the movie. Uh, uh, James Brown was in the movie. Uh, Cat Calloway was in the movie. Yep, yep, He's one of the old time jigs from way back in the days. Yep. It was an all star cast, man. Right? But, anyways, um, if they go to church, right, to find out what God wanted them to, them to do. So they went to the church, one of them big nigga Baptist churches, yep, yep. right? And the niggas in there, they were singing. And who was the preacher? James Brown. So all those pre after that movie came out, that's when a lot of them nigga pastors started imitating James Brown. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, uh, a lot of these uh, singers, like he mentioned Aretha Franklin, they came out of the black church. That's what you learn in the so-called black church. You, you damn sure don't learn the scriptures, but you do learn how to sing and dance. All that, and, and that's how you was entertaining the so-called white man on the plantation. He got a kick out of you, you know? That was your job. Come on, come over here, boy. Come and entertain me, boy. Sing one of them old nigger songs, boy. <laughs> man, you, that's why the Lord said two-thirds of you fucking niggas gonna go, man. You gotta go, fucking bunch of clowns. And you love being clowns. Always skinning your teeth for the so-called white man. Always laughing like a fucking clown. Like everything is so fucking funny. And here it is, you're on the bottom. Nobody respects you. <sighs> I'm getting fucking heated, man. Yeah, they only doing the James Brown. It was right after that movie came out. All them so-called preachers, they actually started emulating James Brown. That like he became the, 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 the poster child of what a preacher is supposed to be like. But James Brown played the preacher. So they started up, he was, that's right, brother, and then they started playing the music, you know, and James started getting down, so James Brown started doing his thing, and everybody in the church started dancing, and they were doing backflips, and the other people, they were up the aisles doing backflips, and dancing, and going crazy, right, that's all that, so basically, no scriptures were coming out. Nope, no scriptures. Right. And that's why when you, you wacky tacky Christians from these nigger churches, when you come before us, that's why you're so stupid. You can't deal with us because you don't learn the scriptures in those churches. All you learn how to do is sing and dance and be a fucking 
a fucking King Kong, a King Kong monkey. That's all you. That's all you learn to do, man. Be a, a, a consummate entertainer. That's why very soon the Heavenly Father going to entertain you with some destruction and death. How about that? That's what he's going to entertain you with. No scriptures were coming out. There wasn't bringing out there one scripture. Nope. James Brown said a couple of words. Then the music started. The band started playing. And they just started getting down, man. Partying, doing backflips and the dancing and doing all that shit. That's exactly what goes on in them churches, man. That's right. That's no. Let me back the brother up. Let me uh, get that scene. This is from the movie uh, The Blues Brothers. Isn't your cheesy buffer so cheesy, airy, and puffy? How'd you do it? Here's the scene he was talking about. What I'm saying is, we go. got to figure out some way to get that money, honestly. Well, that could be a problem. It's like the penguin says, we gotta make that move towards redemption. We gotta go to church. You gotta make that move toward redemption, you gotta go to church. Bullshit. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, because the church is bullshit. It's bullshit. John Belushi was right. By the way, he's a his background was Albanian. He might he might have been a Jake, man. John Belushi. There we go. What, 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 what? Mostly women in up, up in there. Old women. They, can't, can't, they can no longer play games with men because they done lost their figure. You know, they done hit the wall sideways. <laughs> Ain't no men checking for them. So where they go to get their entertainment, get noticed, that's, you got it, in the church. The only reason these niggas go to the church is to get the, the, the that's that's what they say. Uh, I'm gonna go to church, get me a good woman. That's the worst woman you can get, man. Bitch filled up with all kind of demons, man. You think you've been laying down for a horror movie? And now, there we go. this week's sermon is from our beloved. Look at how sweet, look at how sweet these niggas look, man. What's the difference now? Ain't no difference. Look at how, look at how tame these. <laughs> And they're wearing that, that, that suit, that monkey suit, that chimpanzee suit, just like the so-called white man. That's, that's what you niggas strive to be. You want to be just like the so-called white man. You want to wear them stupid suits that he wears. You want to wear them stupid ties around your neck. You don't know how stupid you look. I'm talking about you a high-value man. You know who I'm talking about. Do be busting out with them suits and them ties, trying to, trying to emulate the so-called white man, your slave master. Man, you niggas ain't got nothing to say to us, man. <laughs> and now, yeah, Belushi shaking his head like this is some bullshit. He's right. It is some bullshit. People. And now, people. When I woke up this morning, oh, I heard. Where's the scriptures? Where's the scriptures? Disturbing sound. I said when I woke up this morning. I heard a disturbing sound. <laughs> what I heard was a jingle jangle of a thousand more souls. I'm talking about the soul of all men and women. You best believe them women in the choir, they the man. You want to talk about S L U T S. Woo! And they'll give a hooker a run for her money. This is all bullshit. Bullshit. By the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night. Well, well, well. 
why do you think James Brown is so good in the scene? Because all them singers, man, they all learn that shit in the so-called black church, man. And you learn that shit from the so-called white man, your slave master. We call it praise break. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Assemble them. I'm, uh, how's that go? Uh, Jeremiah 5 and 7. Assemble. <laughs> let me read it again. Pardon me. I'm a little excited. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me. There you go. There's your example. And sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, meaning he gave us this knowledge, this truth, then they committed adultery. Now, you best believe in that church. Oh, rampant adultery. And that's your average church today, man. So-called church. It says, then they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the hollowed houses, the whore houses. They were as fed horses in the morning, everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife. That's what goes down in these so-called churches. Now check this out. It says, shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord? And shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? There you go. There's your example. That's why judgment is coming, man. A lot of these, a lot of these motherfuckers in these so-called churches, they're gonna get it, man. They're gonna get some serious judgment. Judgment of death and destruction. And the majority of our people think that's holy. That's not holy. The Lord said in the scriptures, He said, Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. Let's get that. Amos. Amos 5. And like I said, y'all don't know the scriptures. You're too busy singing and dancing up in there like monkeys. Amos 5 and, uh, what is it, 5 and 23? Let me get it. Amos 5 and 23. <laughs> Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vials. There you go. All that singing and dancing is useless. <laughs> Show me in the scriptures where Yahweh Shai did that. Now at the Passover, they sung hymns. They sung some psalms, but that was about it. Yahweh Shai, was an, was Yahweh Shai, which you ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he wasn't jumping and dancing like a damn fool. Same shit they used to do on the plantation for the master, to entertain the master.
Lord, Mary. Making mockery of your churches. Anyway, I had enough of this shit, man. Hopefully, you brothers will edify. On to the next one.